This is one of my favorite days of the year, commencement at Colorado Mountain College. We're so proud of all the students that will be graduating this year, and we also know that this is unusual and unprecedented. We find ourselves in an unprecedented time in our history, facing a global pandemic, which means that we can't join together in person. And I know that nothing replaces the opportunity for a commencement where you walk across the stage uh, and you shake hands with the dignitaries on stage and your family members are sitting in the audience cheering you on. We know that this won't replace that and we hope that you also know Colorado Mountain College is nothing if we're not creative. We try to be innovative and we try to be student-centered. So we hope to deliver to you and your family something really special in commencement this year. So the way that this is going to go in a virtual format is that I'm going to share with you what's coming next and there's going to be some special components. We have 1,200 graduates this year across all of our campuses and we want each of them to feel special. Each will have a special keynote commencement speaker. All of those commencement speakers are also participating with us in something that is also historic in our history. 2020 marks the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage in the United States, which was the passage of the 19th Amendment giving women the right to vote. And we know how many equity measures and doors of opportunity were opened following that historic time. So we've invited a group of remarkably talented and accomplished women to serve as commencement speakers for all of you. They include women who are the first to hold their role. For example, the first woman to be the commissioner of agriculture in the state of Colorado. The first woman to oversee all of law enforcement for Colorado Parks and Wildlife. The first Latina to serve on the Colorado Supreme Court a businesswoman who is now the first to hold her role in one of Colorado's major outdoor companies. And the stories go on. You'll hear from our Lieutenant Governor, who is a four-time cancer survivor and a champion for health care for all. All of these stories we hope will wrap into something that we feel is very special and that commemorates our core values as an institution that are rooted in equity and opportunity for everyone, and all of our graduates are part of that as well. We know you will go off and do incredible things and leave the ladder down for others who are fighting for opportunity and for the ability to succeed in whatever they choose to do down the road. You will also get to hear from students and our student speakers who will share with you their own journeys and how they've gotten to this time. You will hear from a member of our Board of Trustees who will confer your degrees. You will get to turn your tassel. You will hear from the head of the Colorado Department of Higher Education who will congratulate all of our graduates on behalf of the state. And there will be a few other surprises along the way. So we hope that you enjoy this ceremony. Please take photographs with yourself. We have sent you, if we had your address, we sent you a box which included a cap and a tassel, and we will have a tassel, um, a tassel ceremony. We ask that you take photographs. We ask that you take them with your family. Please share those to social media. Um, we hope those are lifelong memories for you that you will enjoy. And most importantly, we simply just congratulate you. Um, we wish you well. We hope that you will stay in close touch with us. And you are now officially a member of the Colorado Mountain College alumni family. Congratulations. Greetings, everyone. My name is Angie Piccioni. I'm the executive director of the Colorado Department of Higher Education. And I am excited to be with you in this virtual commencement. Want to first start off by saying congratulations to all the graduates their friends, their family, and everyone who contributed to making this day possible for the graduate. I hope that you have created uh, many memories with your friends and family throughout this, uh, this whole course of study. And now that you have completed it, you are about to commence on the next stage of your life. But it's also a historical context because we are celebrating 100 years of the women's right to vote, the 19th Amendment. And so, you are set in a historical context for many reasons. When we think about those women and the passion that they had to pursue their purpose and develop the skills that were necessary to make it happen, that's what I hope that you are doing as well, that you have pursued a passion at CMC 
that you are about to embark on pursuing your purpose, whatever your purpose is, and that you have developed the skill set necessary to make it happen. So congratulations to all of you today, and you are forever an eagle. Go Eagles. Congratulations and best wishes for continued success. Hello and good afternoon. I'm Heather Exby, Vice President and Campus Dean of the Spring Valley and Glenwood Springs campuses of Colorado Mountain College. Together with Steve Scadron, my counterpart for Aspen and Carbondale, and all our faculty and staff, I welcome you to your Colorado Mountain College 2020 commencement ceremony right here in the heart of our beautiful Rocky Mountains and wherever you are, you are here in spirit. Now, one of my favorite duties at commencement is the announcement of the recipients of our annual awards given to faculty, staff, and students, because this day is all about celebrating achievement and recognizing excellence. Nominations are received from across the campuses and winners are selected by committees of campus faculty and staff. It is with distinct pleasure that we honor the following individuals this year. First, I wanna share a story with you of a remarkable man whose time at CMC Spring Valley has come to symbolize the essence of our campus culture and to find our sense of commitment to student success. David Allen attended the Spring Valley campus, Colorado Mountain College, after recovering from a severe car accident that left him with lasting disabilities. He graduated in 1991 with an associate's degree and went on to study business at a university in Oklahoma. Allen left a significant impression on many of his classmates through his attitude in overcoming the many challenges he faced. In his honor and through his estate, a CMC scholarship was established to support students who experienced this kind of personal or financial difficulty while endeavoring to achieve their goals in higher education. Very rare occurrence that faculty and staff select the same person to receive the next two awards, but such is the case for this ex completely extraordinary student. I'm so very pleased to announce the winner of both the David Allen Memorial Award and the campus's outstanding associate's degree student is David Avila of Aspen, Colorado. He's earning his Associate of Applied Science degree in accounting today. David is the first in his family to attend college, although he has since been joined at CMC by both his brother and his mother. Tackling a profound language disability, second language challenges, and significant transportation needs, David has engaged in his education with incredible tenacity and commitment. What makes David exceptional is his, is his success in spite of the significant learning disability that he has. You see, David is a whiz at anything related to numbers, but must spend triple the time on assignments involving words and language. The time, patience, and perseverance David puts towards his studies demonstrates his commitment to his education, just as David Allen did in his. David Avila does all of this with a positive attitude, a gracious heart, and a beautiful smile. Noted one of his professors, Rarely have I come across a student who has been more dedicated, devoted, and attentive to achieving success despite some challenges he has faced. While he sometimes has to work harder than other students to achieve his goals, he never allows those obstacles to stand in his way. Another faculty member noted, in the 11 years of teaching, I have yet to meet a more kind, ethical, and dedicated student. Considering his language challenges and the tremendous disadvantages he suffered, he has accomplished an amazing and well-deserved milestone in his AA degree. David plans to continue his education in business and pursue a professional degree, excuse me. David plans to continue his education in business and a professional career in accounting. Our deepest congratulations go out to you, David. Our outstanding bachelor's degree graduate award is awarded to Caitlin Giard. Caitlin is also a first-generation college student who has demonstrated her outstanding academic success and community service in multiple ways. She is graduating today with two educational endorsements in addition to her bachelor's degree in elementary education and the culturally and 
linguistically diverse education. While Caitlin was completing her total of 1,200 hours of field experience, she balanced her full-time job as a paraprofessional in Garfield School District RE2 with a full-time student responsibility at CMC. Caitlin developed an original embedded intervention for long-term English language learners that she was able to implement through collaboration with her college peers and her teachers. Her work contributed significantly to addressing the language needs of her students. Upon graduation, Caitlin will be teaching third grade at Highlands Elementary School in Rifle. Our deepest congratulations go out to you, Caitlin. Well done. It's also a great pleasure for me to be able to announce the faculty and staff of the year awards for Spring Valley and Glenwood Springs campuses. This year, students, faculty, and staff awarded the following awards. For full-time faculty of the year, Professor of Mathematics, Mern Dragonette was our recipient. And for adjunct faculty of the year, Instructor of Business, Jim Cleaver, received that award. Congratulations, the two of you, outstanding instructors. Our staff of the year for full-time staff was awarded to Tanya Clinney, who is the nursing clinical and administrative coordinator at Spring Valley, as well as overseeing all of responsibilities for all the nursing programs college-wide. Our part-time employee of the year is awarded to Eunice Kong, who's our testing coordinator for both Glenwood Center and our Rifle Campus. Congratulations to you all. What outstanding awards and wonderful people as part of our campus. You'll soon hear from our remarkable commencement speaker. I look forward to her words of wisdom and inspiration in the middle of this uncertain time. But before I leave you, I want to share a word. You've all been hearing, saying, and living the word unprecedented. It leads every news article and ends every state update. I don't know about you, but I think I have heard enough of that word, however applicable it is. I want and I need some other way to talk about and think about this crazy time. Crazy, dynamic, paradoxical. <sighs> What does the thesaurus give me for synonyms? There's unparalleled, unmatched, unique, exceptional, extraordinary. Yes, I like that one, extraordinary. It's an expressive qualifier such as extraordinarily beautiful or extraordinarily ridiculous, but it can also stand alone, extraordinary. We did some extraordinary things this semester to get to this point. You did, in big ways and in small ways. It says so much, it means so much. You can carry it with you, let it become you, extraordinary. It's an invitation to embrace the unknown. It's a challenge to accept. It's a label to own, extraordinary. It is a time, it is this time, it is your time, it is you, be it, extraordinary. Congratulations to our graduates in the Roaring Fork Valley. That includes our campuses in Aspen, Carbondale, Spring Valley, and Glenwood Springs. I'm delighted and honored today to introduce to you your keynote speaker. Christine Bonero is the president and CEO of the Mile High United Way, which was the first United Way in our country founded by a woman. She's only the second to lead that organization in its 130 year history. Christine formerly was the CEO of the Mile High Red Cross in Denver. She also has served under two United States presidents she is a leader in the nonprofit sector and has been committed to service her entire career. I hope you enjoy what I'm sure will be a profound message from Christine Bonero. Thank you, Dr. Hauser. Greetings, Colorado Mountain College, class of 2020. I am Christine Bonero, and I have the privilege of serving as the president and CEO of Mile High United Way 
And it is my honor to be here with you to celebrate this extraordinary day and your extraordinary accomplishments in these extraordinary circumstances. Clearly, it is not the kind of day you dreamed of, but it is exactly of what you dreamed of and worked for and have succeeded in accomplishing. You are the 2020 graduating class of Colorado Mountain College and into the history books you will go. And oh, what a story you will have to tell of perseverance, of persistence, of possibility, of innovation, of imagination, of grit. But then again, you are graduates of CMC and of the Roaring Fork Valley, and that is exactly who you are. I take great pride as a Coloradan that one of the world's largest charitable organizations, the United Way, began right here in our state. Over a century ago, during a devastating health epidemic, tuberculosis was rampaging throughout Colorado and throughout the country. TB was not only impacting people's health, but the health of our economy, not only Coloradans' lives, but their livelihoods. So Colorado did what I believe we always do and what you have done. We persevered, we persisted, we innovated, and we believed in possibilities. And in this case, led by two priests, two ministers, a rabbi, and a woman, we united as a community and began a movement that today is known as the United Way Worldwide. Frances Weisbar Jacobs, the woman that united us all, is now known as the mother of charities, and in fact, is the only woman permanently celebrated in one of the 14 stained glass windows in the rotunda of our state capitol. And it is the strength and the resiliency of the fabric of this place we are lucky enough to call home. And why this year, the year of your graduation, is so special. And why today, even if we are not together, we celebrate you. 2020 is a hallmark year. We are also celebrating the 100th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment of a woman's right to vote. And to no surprise, once again, Colorado led the way as the first state in the union to grant women their right to vote. And that milestone would not have occurred were it not for the visionary belief in the future of groundbreaking women and men who persisted and persevered regardless of the circumstances surrounding them and the odds against them, who saw the possibility and were willing to venture forth into a new day. And that single brave act opened wide the doors of opportunity beyond their wildest dreams. So here you stand on the day of your greatest accomplishment, persistent, and persevering, personifying the true spirit of Colorado. And that is exactly why we need you now more than ever. We have heard over these last many weeks, we are stronger together. And it has proven to be true. You have set the bar and are the vanguards of what the future of Colorado, and I believe the future of our country will look like. You made the choice to continue your studies, whether you returned home or self-quarantined on campus. You, stay con you stayed connected to your classmates, your advisors, and your professors, and those who love you and believe in you and cheered you on. You never took your eyes off your dreams of your future. And that is what this new day looks like and why you, class of 2020, will be writing the future of Colorado. In addition to leading the Mile High United Way, one of my greatest joys was serving as the CEO of the American Red Cross here in Colorado, another mission-driven organization founded by a boundary-breaking woman under circumstances of great despair, Clara Barton. As she began her work for the Red Cross, she wrote, 
I have a complete and total disregard for precedent and faith in the possibility of something better. Faith in the possibility of something better. And my faith has been fortified by each of you. 265 strong, earning degrees and certifications in early childhood, elementary education, nursing and business, real estate and law, information technology and new media, applied sciences and phlebotomy, veterinarian technology. You are artists and photographers, graphic designers, and you share a deep passion for the beauty of the Colorado wilderness. You are each the possibility of something better for all of us, a trailblazer in your own right. The uniqueness and the richness and the diversity of your own story that led you to today is why into the history books you are going. The poet Mary Oliver wrote, said the river, imagine everything you can imagine, then keep going. You, Colorado Mountain College class of 2020, did imagine everything and you kept going, even when the unimaginable happened. So while we are not in a single place, please look around you. And even if you can't see us all, know you are surrounded by family and friends, faculty and admirers, and that we are cheering you on wildly with deep respect and admiration for your persistence and your perseverance and your total disregard for precedence and your faith in the possibility of something better. Congratulations, graduates. Hello, everyone. I'm Andrew Soliday. Some of you may not know me. I'm graduating from the Sustainability Studies program at Spring Valley. I spend my free time fly fishing, hiking, and camping. While this is not the graduation day we anticipated, we should all be proud of what we have achieved. This semester began as usual, but none of us foresaw the challenges that were presented. For each of us, this time has been difficult at the least, but we have found a way to push through and graduate. It is at this time we celebrate our achievement and our future. This ceremony is the perfect time to re reflect on your experience at CMC, the things you have learned, the places you have been, and the people you have had the opportunity to know. Take a moment to thank those who supported you, taught you, and challenged you. Teachers, staff, family, and friends, we could not have done this without you. Although our world is far from normal, it is important to remain positive. As graduates of CMC, we are uniquely prepared to help our communities thrive in the coming months. All graduates in each field will be important in the transition to a new normal. I personally look forward to engaging with others to promote sustainability and resilience. As CMC students, our connection to our community affords us the opportunity to help those in our valley prosper. This time will not be forgotten, and it is up to us to lead with compassion. I am confident that each of you will move into the future with hope. After all, it is not chance that you are here. Hard work and dedication have gotten us through school, and now it is time to bring that mindset into the future. But do not forget that it is not hard work alone that drives us. Love is equally important. My love of the outdoors motivated me to practice sustainability. As you pursue your future, remember to be your authentic self. Each of you brings your own experience of life. Each of you is uniquely capable of creating change, solving problems, and inspiring others. Align your values with your actions and be who you are. Embrace the fullest version of you and begin your adventure. I know we face an uncertain future, but we have already overcome some of our toughest times. The graduating class of 2020 is ready to make a lasting impact on our world. Congratulations to you all, and thank you. President Hauser and Trustee Virgili, I have the honor and privilege to present the graduating class of 2020. All candidates have been certified as having met the requirements of their respective degrees.
My name is Mary Ann Virgili, and I'm the trustee from the Eastern Garfield County District of Colorado Mountain College. By the authority vested in me by the Colorado Mountain College Board of Trustees, President Hauser and I are delighted to confer upon you your degree from Colorado Mountain College. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Tal Hartman, and I'm a professor of English at the Spring Valley campus. Today, I have the honor of reading the names of our graduates for the Roaring Fork campuses. I will be reading the campuses in the order of Aspen, Carbondale, Glenwood Springs, and then Spring Valley. And the graduates are Juan Alvarado, Mario Alverde Duarte, Kyle Ariel, Andrew Atkinson, Sandra Brucato, Adriana Cabrera, Amaya Caniff, Lorena Day Casebolt Mills, Colin Crofton, Caitlin Getz, James Gordon, Risa Inez, Andre Klepanchuk, John Lawson, Jacob Levy, Ryan Merostica, Michael Maschiocci, Brooke Pashley, Rebecca Rainey, Samuel Reynolds, Stephen Sahiling, Zachary Southward, Miranda Stevenson, Brittany Turnus, Anna Ziekendorf, Raisa Benitez Gonzalez, Tiffany Bledsaw, Alexander Collins, Travis J. Davis, Bianca De La Torre, Miranda Lynn Egan, Joanna Esquivel, Heather Fuxel, Mariela Gallegos, Michael Gandolfo, Emily Hendershot, Todd Yost, Laura Larios, Jessica Nelson, Blake Peterson, Daniel Robertson, Dylan Robinson, Michael Shanks, Alandra Silvas Soto, Kimberly Tana, Jonathan Von Barron, Natasha Williams, Kenya Aguirre, Alejandro Arvizo Perea, Jennifer Ayala, Stephanie Ayala, Kendall Bergerson, Stacy Berkowitz, Sierra Ann Bustillos, Stacy Marie Campbell Austin, Aaron Carrieri, Hama Castorena, Nicholas Siani, Alyssa Nicole Cooley, Ashley Coop, Samantha Pierce Corcoran, Laura Lynn Darlin, Justin Davis, Monica De La Esperiela, Marilyn Delgado, Rochelle De Julio, Kim Dosi, Mackenzie Leigh X, Fernanda Estrada, Carmen Far Dowley, Katia Fisher, 
Maggie Christine Fremel, Kayla Fuller, Luz Galavis Aguilar, Caitlin Marie Giard, Pamela Gilson, Erlenda Gonzalez, JD Goodman, Charlene Griffith, Bartholomew Peter Zabowski, Connor Guest, Christian Hunch, Preston Havel, Andrea Hernandez, Dominique Hoffman, Abby Hollenbaugh, Natalie Nicole Houston, Justin Hughes, Corey Ice, Catherine Janice, William Jane, Jessica Kane, Sedona Kellogg, Devin Nieper, Ricky Allen Lasco, Michelle Catherine Lee, Jacob Lesniak, Mitch Levy, Vincent Lindellian, James Lindstrom, Jose Alfonso Lopez Rosales, Elizabeth Luciano, Tim Malloy, Diana Martinez Ramirez, Juliet McGill, Michelle McGrory, Rocio Mendoza, Brianna Miracle, Madeline Misenheimer, Danielle Morris, Leslie Jean Neal, Zachary Neal, Lisa Marie Nislanik, Samantha Ann Nowicki, Leah O'Donnell, Natalie Olivas, Susanna Perez, Nicole Pierce, Bethany Rose Porter, Robert, excuse me, Roberto Puga, Jessica Marie Hursley, Bailey Anna Ramsey, Sochal Rodriguez, Sierra Rose Shubin, Bahwani Sharma, Stephen Stern, Jessica Tario, Hannah Thimpson, Colton Tooker, Douglas Trauger, Aaron Trujillo, Steo Vasquez Esparza, John Villegas, Teresa Warner, Lucy Watitu, Mandy L. Weir, Nicholas Willie, Nadia Yvonne Williams, Annette Zoller, Eric Dario Zuniga Lucas, Alondra Acosta Guzman, Joshua David Adamson, Alexander Allegra, Diana Avia, David Avia, Gayula Baxa, Sadie Barth, Emily Bergman, Kelly Billingsley Smith, Louis Robert Beanie, Nicholas Bond, John Bookout, Teal Noel Bowden, Alexandria Brancaccio, Jose Briseno, Brandy Bunn, Catherine Amelia Burgess, Lyle James Call, Sydney Campbell, 
Andrea Carrasco. Andrea Carrasco. Selena Michelle Carola. Crisol Casas Teya. Skylar Cashin. Jacqueline Castro. James Caudill. Trace Chestner. Rachel Clark. Kyle Clayton. Mackenzie Copeland. Connor M. Coyle. Sonia Cravioto. Courtney Crenshaw. Oscar Crispin. Isis Chiara Dandridge. Jacob Doom. Catherine Downer. Ashley Dwight. Carson Joe Everett. Danielle Fanchel. Isabella Phillips. Christopher Fisher. Jennifer Jade Flowers. Leone Francis. Taylor Franson. Quatimoc Fragoso. Lorena Garcia. Dylan Gartman. Evan John Gaynor. Jessica Giro. Sarah Glass. Rosa Isela Gonzalez Ortega. Christy Grangroth. Dustin Gregory. Branner Grimsley. Alexander Haas. Madison Hahn. Tayton Holligan. Troy Harcourt. Christina Hathaway. Molly Rose Hemmen. Sarah Hendrickson. Hadley Hebert. Shadrick Hines. April Horath. Carolina Rachel Hoffman. Bailey Howard. Benjamin Hunter. Jennifer Carla Jackson. Hannah Johnson. Rachel Jones. Sarah Kelsch. Sheridan Kent. Austin Kimbrough. David Knott. Kelsey Cuck. Amy Kovac. Danica Kreitzer. Justin Kruger. Benjamin Arthur Cruz. Haven Larrabee Davis. Austin Taylor Lines. Lindsay Newark. Molly Ray Lewis. Adelie Lopez. Joseph Lucero. Anne Marie Lucero. Aaron Morano. Quest Caitlin Martin Winfield. Katrina McElteen. Kirby McBride. Chelsea McFarland. Aria McNamee. Tess Matilda McPhillamy. Nathan Meyer. Abril Mendoza. Franklin Mercer. Katia Elizabeth Meyer. Aaron McLea. Morgan Miller. Meredith Moore. Kevin Morin Ascona. Brandon Mortimer. Jennifer Muriel. Elizabeth Needham. Elizabeth Neal. Trey Norton Abbey. Meredith Lee Norling. 
April Ray Nottingham, Blake Olson, Chelsea Louise Ortiz, Hannah Paget, Leslie Padilla, Dominic Sabaski Paladino, Sophie Pepper, Rodrigo Perez, Christian Perez Arona, Kara Lee Peterson, Max Peterson, Joan Rafferty, Jesse Ransford, Lauren Reed, Eliana J. Renfro, Aaron Riley, Dakota Douglas Rourke, Trevor Roberts, Esli Rojo, Miranda Romero, Noemi Santiago, Anne Marie Schoenmakers, Lauren Serafin Martinez, Matthew Sesto, Deborah Shannon, Riley William Smith, Laurel Janine Smith, Andrew Arthur Soliday, Michelle Spidel, Robert Starling, James Steindler, Stephanie Stocking, Amanda Sturgeon, Mackenzie Lynn Sullivan, Tara Suman, Ruth Swigert, Crystal Tapp, Victoria Thompson Taylor, Paris Toole, Crystal Urenda, Delia Maria Urutia, Emily Littleton Vance, Lindsay Vega Munoz, Vivian Villagrana Perales, Alexa Michelle Voorhees, Diana Gail Walter, Courtney Weber, Aiden Wyman, Elizabeth White, Peyton Raquel Wild, Madeline May Wilkerson, Emily Louise Williams, Caitlin Williams, Ryan Zimmer. Drum roll, please. The most important part of this entire ceremony, please turn your tassel from right to left, which signifies your graduation from Colorado Mountain College. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations.